What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Joy here today. And look, I'm finna show you how to make a Pro Tools template from scratch. I'm not gonna add the plugins because you can take it at whatever plugin. Just make it your own and you can do it anytime. Make your own custom templates. You know what I'm saying? But I just wanted to show you like the thought process that goes behind it. So what you wanna do is let's say like for first off, like I always have like a like a track, so for audio track. So let's say we're gonna start with the beat. So let's put two two tracks here. Two tracks here. Let's put Let's put two tracks here for the beat, right? So let's see, this instrument, inst I can't spell, instrumental, all right, and this is instrumental effects, all right. Nah, rename that, because, you know, y'all might get confused. Effects. And make that be the instrumental because it did it backwards for some reason. I got click wrong, but it's fine. So, like, what you want to do with these? Like, I would make these like a different color from everything. So, I'll make the instrumental this color. All right. <laughs> so, then also, what you want to do is you want to want to know how many oxes that you got. And you can do it like this. Let's say we want. We want nine record track well nine tracks for audio tracks because one's gonna be a record and I would start off having like four for the hook, four for the verse. So we're gonna do nine audio tracks. Alright, then we're gonna go over here and then we're gonna go to stereo and we're gonna put in our oxes. You just go to ox and put let's say it all depends. Let's say if you want one reverb, you'll just add one reverse. So you just gotta count keep up with your oxes like the effects that you want. So let's put three reverbs, um, two delays and a doubler so that's five and it's five so let's put five right here right and then we gotta add a master fader so we want to put a master fader in and we want the master fader to be in stereo too so let me just hit hit that boom and there we have a template so far it's looking good right so far so let's say this is gonna be my record track right so that's my record track, color that red. All right, I'm gonna find four of these, one, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna change the color of those to yellow. And then I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna go to the new track. And I'm gonna say hook, but so all the hook tracks right there, they're gonna run into this. So the next four, we're gonna color these like a, like a darker color or something, I don't know. I want to do it. Let's make orange. All right, do the same thing again. Select all of them. If you're on Mac, shift, op shift option, and you go to new track, and you be like verse, but it's, no, cool. All right. So we got both of those, and we just bring these on down. Bring these all down here. Let's change these colors to like the purple. All right, so what you got now, like, you can choose whatever those, like, you can do however you want, color or however you want, right? See, you can put whatever plugins you want on a record track, make sure you got the right input selected, right? So this is going to the output, that's what you hear going to the main output. These are going to buses, those are going to that bus, right? And you can take this another step further. You can send these two to all vox, all vocal, whatever, um... Bus. You can send those again to another bus. That way, if you want to add like a little extra EQ, a little extra compression, a little vocal rider here at the final stage, whatever you want to put there, you can put it there. So, um, then you just go back in and just choose whatever you want to be these plugins right here. Like, even if you want, you want reverb, you want reverb A, come back, you got like reverb B, then you got. Reverb C. I mean, then it's like let's say like if you want a de one delay, cool. If you want some distortion, that's cool. You put a distortion plug in there. If you want a doubler here, you put it there. You know, you can switch it up. Do whatever you want to do. Then you can just tweak your settings, what have you want. If you want to add more, you just go you just add more oxes to however you feel so like that's how you make a template from scratch right there filling in the plugins that's another thing 
So I was, I'm kind of trying to get y'all used to like the um the signal flow and how you want to route everything. It's all about how you route it and how much you send and your level that you're sending around. So with that being said, like make sure I hope you learn something how to make that fast. Like I did it kind of fast. So if you missed anything, go back and like look at it, slow it down a little bit, and like figure out what I did and why did I do it. Because it's completely up to you. You might just have one verse and you want to have your stuff all together on one thing like if you're not doing a hook you can just let's say like if you're not doing a hook and you're just doing straight freestyle and you just want two audio tracks right there you just go to the rest of them and you can make them inactive you can hide them you know and go and make a session like if you don't want the reverb you can take it out switch it with another plugin delete it hide it whatever but all you gotta do is go back over here to the track thing, find it, find the ones that you hit, show and make active. Just like, show and make active, it's just like that. Everything like color code everything. Do whatever you want. If you want to send these two to a bus, you can send those to a bus. So you can be like, eat bus. Right? Like it's just that simple. Like that's. It's basically about how you want to route everything. That's all the template is, is about how to route it and make things faster because if you're just starting out with nothing routed, it can get really confusing if you got vocals all around them, anywhere, you know? You can just name it, have you, name whatever it is that you're doing, you can just name it, whatever. So, this is like a little template that I'm probably going to work on for the fall, for the next Pro Tools template. So, I'm probably going to work on this and make it like way different from the other ones. And you can tell, like, I might just have, like, three different reverse set where you can play around with three ones. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Follow your boy on Instagram. I know you're watching on your phone right now, but like this video. Go watch another video, like it, and leave a comment. And, you know, I'm finna do a mic giveaway, too. So I'm finna give away a mic. So um, if you're subscribe to the channel leave a comment and stick around for more details because i'm giving away a mic one of the mics that i be using that i haven't used like it's pretty much brand new i never used it so i got two of them so i'm gonna give one away so make sure you like comment subscribe and be on the lookout for that giveaway and figure out how to win this microphone but i see you in another video and enjoy the rest of your day night whatever it is that you're watching this